Okay, we got some new categories. That's uh, a fun one. Baldies. Worst career suicide with Kevin Spacey, Louis C.K., Kevin Hart, Roseanne Barr, James Gunn, Philip Mushin? Mewchin, I guess, is what I would say. Who's an IGN game reviewer in parentheses. I'm glad you supplied that context because I have no <laughs> fucking clue who this guy is. Uh, do you want to talk to these, about these guys individually? Start from the top and work our way down? I think we should. I, I feel like Maybe this start, is going to be a category that has legs in future years, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that we are done scraping the bottom of the barrel of the, <laughs> no. of the entertainment business. Because, for, for example, sure. um, my old friend uh, Brian Sanger... Ah, he's looks like he's finally going down for what seem feels like has been an open secret for like 20 years in Hollywood that he propositions underage young men and, uh, you know, maybe maybe even worse than propositions. Uh, so let's talk about 2018's career suicide. I'll go from the reverse order because I don't know. I, I want to start out with uh, maybe some small fry or maybe he's a big fry. This Philip guy, IGN game reviewer. What the fuck did he do? Yeah. So this probably doesn't belong in the category. Who did he kill not, and or rape? Uh, no one. Okay. No one. All right. Which to he's me is probably going to be at the bottom be at the of, top this of this list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he is, like it says, an IGN game reviewer who got caught plagiarizing one of his reviews oh, and it turned we, into a big scandal. Are we talking about actual ethics in game journalism? We are. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, it's not cool. People, people noticed, Hey, you basically ripped this exact language from other people's review for this particular review. And, uh, he, it was big and high profile because he's works for IGN, uh, which is probably the biggest gaming site or yeah. maybe the biggest entertainment site period on the internet. Wow. Uh, they're huge. Now, he got on to YouTube and tried to defend himself saying, look, I didn't plagiarize this. Game reviewers do this all the time. Like we have similar thoughts on games because, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, I didn't steal the he, joke. It was, we just had the parallel thought. Yeah, right. Kind of. And, and then he had the audacity to tell people, look, you go out and I dare you go out and try and find stuff that I've plagiarized because I don't plagiarize shit. Oh, why would you dare? Why would and you so, dare? As you would expect, the internet ganged up on him, went through, combed through, like with d fucking AI algorithms to find like shit on the internet and search the web for exact language, and they found a ton. I mean, of there instances. are tools like that that like they use in academia to do. So like, I imagine yeah. like you piss off a associate professor, and they're <laughs> right. just like, you know what, fucker, I'm gonna feed a thousand URLs into this and tell exactly how much of the shit that you you steal. And that is exactly what happened, and he got caught hardcore ign mm. fired his ass he's basically blackballed from all of games journalism at this point and probably journalism and, and probably what you journalism do, like if you're third in yeah. your mid-30s and you've been a game journalist for 15 years what the fuck do you do if you yeah you switch careers you got to yeah but that's not e no like, it's hard and, it, and fuck that guy like yeah true i don't care that it's hard yeah you're right he, he brought it on himself yeah. like why i also wonder how i guess it's because like the first time you do it, it's probably really high stakes and scary and then you just keep doing it and keep doing it and you never get well, caught you get away with it yeah and then it's like so much easier it's like rather than trying to like but how let me ask you this what kind of plagiarizing was he doing was he like stealing like lines and bits or was he yeah i, I think he was stealing like exact language from from people's reviews <sighs> like straight up the, the definition think, of plagiarism was he stealing like obscure shit or like because i feel like that how did how long was he doing this how long did it take him to get caught i think it was like stealing from uh like, like smaller game like sites. reddit comments like it, stuff like that yeah, yeah like on that level actually probably not even that high a level just like individuals game review sites and stuff huh which i don't know if you're going to build your career on that quicksand then you deserve to be sucked under when it all comes unraveled. Yeah, because it is. It's it's like that's one of the hard things about writing is come up with unique, mm -hmm. especially when you're like industry writing. Like I used to read motorcycle like magazines, and it's there's only so many ways you can say this thing accelerates stupid fast when you right arm stretching, pavement rippling, <laughs> log pulling. Like it's like there's always so many ways you can say this I thing's watering. got yeah. insane power to weight ratio, right? It's like right. jaw dropping graphics, eye popping gra like yeah, I, I I get and it. And it would be one thing if like they use the same term like that, right? But it was like big blocks of text. Okay. So it's it's not just phrases. Pulled. He was just like yeah. I need a review for this and I don't have time to play. Like he pulled it, opinions. So. Like well, I don't have an opinion on this because I haven't played it or whatever, so I'll just pull this opinion and wow, and post it. 
Wow. And, and it was for a huge gaming website. Right. So, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Uh, and I think he's going to be at the bottom of this list because he's a gamer. Yeah. Uh, he's a games journalist as opposed to like being in our form of media. Yeah. Which all the rest of these are. Um. So James Gunn is an interesting one because here's my perspective. And I know I'm <sighs> this not. This is rough. Um, and, and it's, it's easy for me to have this perspective because he's never said anything to actually directly hurt me or made me feel unsafe. But this guy was like a lot of us, I think, ed an edge Lord in his day and did a lot of like, uh, attention grabby, insensitive takes and hot takes and opinions on Twitter. This blew up on him back originally when he inked guardians. So we're talking four or five years ago and he repudiated his past views said that they don't reflect my opinions anymore. And I've changed and grown as a person. And I, from all accounts that he actually like said, it's uh, like apologize. I think the glad back in the day. Mm -hmm. And, uh, as far as I could tell, sin no more. Um, and then what happened is that these like a bad faith actors, Mike Chernovich asshole, who is a far right, uh, goon on Twitter, who has been known for finding, people that have these like you know skeletons in their closet uh going back and the exact same tweets he got and and, and was absolved for and apology accepted and got fired from guardians of the galaxy yeah um, and i feel like you can't talk about this with also without also talking about the roseanne Barr stuff because it did feel tied up in that right like as I, a I backlash think, yes. i do think there's a there's a bit of a yes because you're right like james gunn was essentially tit for tat for roseanne now right. roseanne right. who might actually be crazy <laughs> Who might actually have a diagnosed mental disorder? Who she should be taking medicine? She could be uh, a Kanye here, um, but unlike Kanye, who's I guess like you know he's if if every record label dropped him tomorrow, he could self release something and make money. Mm -hmm. Roseanne Barr is uh, her 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 director boss was a black woman, and she said a bunch of unflattering things about her, mm -hmm. and has a long history of of being kind of like race baiting and having kind of what I think ill informed and odious opinions. And more importantly, this is something she was doing. Yeah. Um, while she was doing kind of like this MAGA show in Hollywood, anyway. So, I to me, I think that I think the 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 cases are night and day. I, I agree. I think James Gunn, James Gunn, in my mind, is not innocent but penitent. Like yes, you how anything you can say about James Gunn, you can say about me ten years ago. Yeah, and and I yeah. haven't scrubbed them. Maybe I should. Maybe, maybe, but I guess I, my thing is like, you know, I talk about this stuff all the time. I talk about how I really have genuine shame and remorse of how I act. But like that, honestly, a lot of the a lot of the kind of a ha like like homophobic, transphobic environment that exists on the internet was built by people like me that probably feel bad about it now. Maybe they don't do enough to to uh, try to reverse that, but. I'm, I'm not, I guess I'm not scared because I can't imagine being a, as a hope high profile as James Gunn and, <laughs> but like I just wondered like if someone like a bad faith actor came and be like, well look at Aaron, he's I right. found his real name and here he is arguing very shittily and annoyingly against uh, uh, gay equality. I wouldn't have any defense other than like shit. I've really That's tried hard years to. Ago, I've yo. really high. I've really <laughs> tried hard to to work that back and. Yeah. I do think that there is going to be like James Gunn. There's going to be casualties because, um, you know, of, like Disney is just not going to fight this this fight. Um, Disney is not going to. Um, they're they're not a corporation that's going to be like think a lot like well we got this outrage of 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 uh, audiences that we try to cater to and we can't have that and we need to get out in front of this right now and maybe if they'd waited a week to made that decision, um. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't like... He is like a, the anomaly on this list to me. Right. And this the thing is Although like... I don't know anything about the Kevin Hart stuff. So it's I'm... career murder. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So like <laughs> okay. the other thing is like I don't yeah. like is that like this this Mike Sir Cernowich is... He doesn't give a shit about what James Gunn did. He just wants to, you know, like, like oh, you're going to use this weapon against us. We're going to use it against you. And mm -hmm. the context doesn't matter. The person's personal context doesn't matter. Their last five years or how, like, that I don't 
I don't like it. If James Gunn was being actively shitty and, uh, you know, some, some gay person or a woman want to call him out for being sexist or homophobic, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But this might, like, I guarantee he hates fucking gay people. He hates trans people, probably hates races, probably hates Jews. This guy talking about the Chernovich guy, the guy, yeah, this guy is trying that's taking out James Gunn and these other guys. I don't, doesn't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like uh, these wep the 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 weapons of like compassion and empathy being turned against. I think a good person, but like I, I said, yeah, I mean, I think what I don't like about this is that the statute of limitations doesn't exist on being an asshole. Yeah, uh, it should. People change drastically over their lifetimes, and I think like it's one thing if James they get Gunn more educated, less ha ignorant, had the shit in his like past, and he just ghosted it, like never addressed it, and just pretend it never happened. Like yeah. it's legit to be like, "What the fuck? You used to think this. What changed? And how?" But it's fair to assume that maybe he thinks the same thing if he doesn't come right. out and say I, I or he's opinions. not talking about it because he knows it's not politically correct. But I don't. That's right. not. That's not what happened here. Yeah. Um, so Roseanne Barr, we talked about that. Do we want to talk about it more? Uh, no. I mean, if we're, uh, what are we doing? Like a top three here? Yeah, because to... you're gonna have to like explain to me the Kevin Hart stuff. I don't. Okay, know so about Kevin that. Hart has um, oh, is he this has over the hosting. He, he was the... hosting oh, okay. the Oscars, right? And then mm -hmm. it came like some people said, well, he's had some very prob. Like he said stuff like, if I had a gay son, I'd kill him. I think. Oh boy! Or like, I'd feel like I was a failure as a father if I had a gay. Like Kevin Hart is a comedian. Because here's the thing: it's hard for me to think that a man that exists in 2019 would say. Because like, there's there's so many things wrong with that statement. Number one, the fact that you'd be ashamed of it, of, of having a gay son. But number two, uh -huh. to act that like anything you did as a father, like this is going back to like this this guy turned out to be gay because of choices he made, rather than. The way that they were born, which, which, like, like that's like a ten or fifteen year old statement to make. Like, and mm -hmm. and it's it's things that he's never repeated. In fact, when it was brought to his attention, he went in full defiant mode. Yeah. Like, I don't, I was just a joke, and you can say whatever, and all people are too touchy, and this is a bit like, yeah, I don't know. Saying you're being ashamed if your son turned out gay doesn't seem like a joke. No, I mean, what? I I am inclined to give comedians a little more latitude, right? To to just shock people sometimes, right? Uh, and people should have room to grow. Like I can see like if like 10, 15 years ago, you're like, oh man, what if my son turned out gay? That would be a hard thing to deal with. Or I don't like, ah, but man, like, yeah. I, what circles does he travel in that he's this far out of touch? Yeah. I mean, certainly in the, the times that we live in, that is less of a joke than it is an offensive statement right and to not like the other thing Even is like if he thinks it's a joke and to do to, to, to instead of, like at this point i think if anyone accuses you of anything your best strategy is to like you know at at worst you've given me a lot to think about and i need to i, I need to really process and think about and i'm you know but to just be like you know fuck y'all you're just haters for this kind of stuff like i feel like this I, I don't think it's career suicide because like I think that any of the like all of these guys on this list and even Kevin Spacey, which we're about to get to, oh dude, are no more than five years away from being relevant again. They're no more than a rehab. They're they're more that they need rehab and like a Barbara Walters interview or Oprah looking stern at them for a half hour and sweating their, and they'll be back in. Which yeah, the power of celebrity is yeah exactly that powerful. I mean, Kevin Hart's got a little bit tougher a path as a black man, but like mm -hmm. all and and Roseanne Barr is a woman, honestly. Um, but all these people have a path back in because. If you make money and and you put yeah. butts in seats, you'll you'll eventually be forgiven. Uh, Louis C.K. There's an interesting one too. So yeah, Louis C.K. About the guy who I think he was apologetic, right? But I don't. I think, think that a apology lot of people, was accepted. I think a lot of it was more. It, he was like the last of that wave to try to do the. I'm sorry that people were offended, and oh, I, yeah. you know, it was a That's kind a of a. Look. It was a, and also like the fact that Louis had been calling these women liars mm -hmm. and refusing to yeah. address it for years, which, you know, that's 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 what the term gaslighting means yeah, that's when, why your apology isn't accepted <laughs> yeah like you can't even come clean and be like ah you know i'm i'm fucked up and you know i've joked about it a lot but the reality is I, there's so it's 
I just feel like it's stupid easy to have America forgive you. And the fact that, and, and then like less than a year later, this guy just starts working his way back into comics. And have you mm -hmm. seen some of the shit that he's got in his set? I've heard that his jokes have not become any less offensive. Well, and they're more like the butt of the jokes are kids being shot at schools and their parents. Right. And how, how sensitive you have to be like, come on, man, mm -hmm. come on. I've heard you. I've heard you very thoughtfully articulate about the difference of, of diff these humor on your show, Louie, that was very thoughtful and tackled issues like this. How can, how can you be so bad? Maybe this guy's just really, I don't, I don't, just shit like this makes me think that this guy is never a good guy. He was like decided that this shit was the way to go to get a bigger fan base. Mm -hmm. But like the second it bit him in the ass, instead of being like, Oh God, I'm such a hypocrite. I, he just rolls into like, Oh, people are too sensitive. And I didn't ruin those women's careers anyway. And yeah, you gotta like he be almost tough gets to... resentful of his own audience. Yeah. Like, oh, you, you, you're, you're being too hard on me and you don't get it. And right. Like, yeah, it feels very defensive. No, I was really looking. I, I honestly way. thought Louie would come back after a couple of years and have like a really funny take on like this toxic shame that men feel about sexuality and the fucked up things it can do. And like maybe that, but the him to come back like this is really dis disappointing. Or at worst, like um, like Dave Chappelle comes back and he's got some creaky thoughts on like transsexuals, uh, transsex people, but like he's manifestly also saying like, but I really don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm also kind of like jealous. Cause I feel like that, you know, black people are in this kind of cultural place. And I see like trans and gay people like really progressing in like, like, like from, from a guy, from a black man's perspective, seems like they're moving at light speed. And at, at mm -hmm. core, I just, I don't understand. I'm jealous. And that's like, that's something you can work with. Like, Hey, I'm trying, I actually want to be on your, I want to be on your side. I want everyone to have human dignity. I just don't know what I'm doing. That's more defensible than Louis. Ha ha. These kids, like, why should I care about a kid who is faster than a fat kid that got shot? Like, that's just cruel. So Louis CK, uh, again, will probably be a superstar in three more years, but I'm very disappointed. And then <laughs> Kevin fucking Holy Spacey shit came out of nowhere to snatch worst career suicide <laughs> from these other fools. In my mind, his follow-up video alone puts him firmly at number one. So can one. you talk about did did you did you see, did you see the I, video? So I never watched it. I read a full description of okay. it. Uh, I have watched it. Okay. So from what I gather, from what I have read, this was essentially a video that he put out on the day he was arraigned for rape charges. Uh huh. Okay. He inhabited his character Frank Underwood. Yes. From House of Cards. The the video's and title is called "Let Me Be Frank." <laughs> Which, okay, good pun. Yeah, good no. pun. I like the pun. I like nothing else about it. Everything uh, about this was executed to the nth <laughs> level, except for you're missing a heart, it, which... <laughs> yeah, so he gets on the camera and yeah. basically says, you want me to be this guy. Uh, you actually, if... He's essentially telling him, like, look, if I'm convicted and I get taken down for this, you're gonna yeah. miss me. Yeah. Which, I mean... Say what you want about Louis C.K. coming back with some bad jokes. I mean, this is Kevin Spacey saying, I'm above your cultural law, essentially. I mean, not only was he kind of playing this like, well, maybe who who knows what's true nowadays and you run ahead. With, but he also was like, but if, but if I did, it would have been so bad. Right. Yes, yes. motherfucker. Yeah. If you've raped people, it's really bad. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. And and no, we're not going to like you if if that's true. Like Right. I, I can't imagine a bigger self destruction. I mean, do you, what what was he? Do you think that he? I mean, I the only thing I can think of is the world's so fucked up. There's an element of society yeah. that would almost embrace him at that level. No, it feels like this is the heel turn for Kevin Spacey. Where, yeah, where he says, "You know what? Fuck all of you liberal people. I don't need you. Mm -hmm. I've got my other crew, right. and I'm going to roll with them now. Right. The people that don't believe, that, that think women make shit up, or, and especially, yeah. gay, like, if you can't trust women, gay men, am I right? Like, I don't... I mean, it's zero remorse. It's zero It's the opposite of remorse. Uh, yeah. I, it's like anti-remorse. Right. I mean, tell, <laughs> calling it zero remorse means... He just didn't say he's sorry. No, he said I'm not fucking he's, sorry. He's and King in fact, Joffrey, I like he's that King, I did it. He's King Joffrey giving a royal proclamation about what a shit he is and how everyone should think it's great. Yeah. And how this is the person you've like 
you liked it when I cut off Glyneth Paltrow's head, so you'll love it when I rape a 16-year-old boy at an Oscar party. And, like, and what the fuck, dude? We're, like, laughing and smiling about this, but what other what? option do we have? It's yeah. so fucked up. Like, this is the evil person's version of, like, a monk setting themselves on fire. Yeah. Like, you are making a... St- but you are making a statement, and everyone's hearing you. We're just I mean, Ke- Kevin Spacey dead to me. Like, yeah, no, it, I, there's no the, way he the comes moral back. stand of not watching his movies. Period. Uh, for for now until he's dead. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm taking. And like, I do think that like watching because I watched all of uh, the last season. I assume the last season of House of Cards without uh, him, right? Yeah, like over Christmas break. So after this debacle had happened, I think, ah, okay. and it was what was it was kind of cathartic because they took a scalpel and they surgically excised Kevin Spacey. Nice. You never see his face. You never hear his voice. They tease. They have this really cool element where Doug Stamper is listening to a, a journal of of that 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 Frank has left behind because Frank's dead at this point, mm-hmm. and he's giving Frank Underwood quotes from previous season, but it's through like he's like. Uh, He's like Joseph Smith translating the golden plates. Like you never hear Frank's, you never hear Kevin Spacey's voice. It's it like somebody reading the autobiography. Or, it's like, he's got earbuds in and he's Spacey. saying like what he's hearing through the earbuds. Like if Frank Underwood's oh, private electric drive, but, and, and like hmm. a couple times like Claire goes, but it's like the show treats it. Like if Kevin Spacey was heard or seen the, sh- the, the universe would explode. Good. And, yeah. No good. Yeah. 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 Um, this is a firm number one for me, but do, I still think that Kevin Spacey is like, I, cause I think of like, and maybe society's changed and this is good, but like Mel Gibson, who maybe he's an out, al- maybe he's an alcoholic. Maybe he is on drug. Maybe he has some mental health problems that lead him to rant and rave about the Jews and, you know, women and race mixing and whatnot. Who? And, what? Uh, Mel Gibson. Oh, geez. like all the times okay. that he's gotten in trouble. Yeah. Um, and how many His times career has never really and, recovered. and Woody Allen, like I see some of the shit and Roland Polanski, some of the shit that these pull and, and the people that stand up for them. And I'm like, I, I could see five years from now, like people be like, oh, how bad? What? And you know, maybe that kid, like, like they're just, I, I, that's the scary thing. Like I, I, he's dead to me, but I don't know that he'll be dead to, to pop America's pop culture because so, he was really good in the usual suspects. I think I <laughs> I think the way I'm hoping society progresses is that essentially liberal demographics have become the Christian demographics from 20 years ago mm. in that like they get in a fervor and they right. write you know they write to their lawmakers they right. write to media companies and say they, they you're doing something i hate huge pressure and if you don't stop it right now yeah. we're going to abandon you i feel like there's the liberal demographic that is becoming that mm-hmm. where like there is huge pressure on these companies to not tolerate someone like kevin spacey to not yeah. give him handouts and it would take a company of severely stern backbone yeah in the wrong direction in my opinion right to to eschew that eschew that mm mm-hmm. I don't know how to say that word yeah. issue, uh, and just say, look, we're going to hire Kevin Spacey because we know there's a huge segment of the population that still right. that doesn't give a shit about right. all that stuff. And really, I mean, you wants can see to like see a trauma movies. studio type of like right. doing some kind of zombie or if, thing like, with them. Uh, right, or... Bart got into the media game, like the, yeah. the entertainment game, which they kind of already are. Yeah, but, right. But you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, that segment of society could still prop Kevin Spacey up, but I hope there would be huge backlash for them. Yeah, and that's the that's the argument about like the thing about like well doesn't Lucy K deserve a vo-? and I'm like does he because it's who f- he's these guys are all rich and super powerful and like if they have to go if they have to just ponder their life's choices in their Malibu mansions the rest of their life <laughs> that's not this isn't like you know but. <laughs> It's not unfair. Yeah, this isn't a construction worker got his back broke in a trench and he's going to get 50 grand for it and then have to feed his family the rest of his life. Like, right. that's what really frustrated me and sometimes, like, on the forums of Bald Move is, like, this the same shit happened, like, five times this last year. And there's always people, and I understand it. I understand, like, it's that, that's the, the trying to find the the both side, like, what the, 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 the problems, like, trying to find the middle position, right? But some of this stuff is, like, 
why are we trying to like Louis C.K. did? He he made he made women he he masturbated in front of women that didn't consent, and made them feel real uncomfortable, and hurt their careers. Okay, yeah, didn't kill anybody, didn't even rape anybody. But this man's got hundreds of millions, got tens of millions of dollars in the bank. His kids are going to be fine. He's going to be fine. Maybe goes away. Yeah. Until he can, f- until he can f- crawl out in the desert and find a way to be relevant in a way that's not super offensive. Maybe Kevin Maybe Hart. Maybe that's not an influence we want in our culture. Right. Maybe Kevin Hart. His he's going to be wealthy. His like in Roseanne Barr, she's got tons of money. James Gunn, he got it. Like, I think he's the roughest of these types. But he's mm-hmm. he fucking. I think probably Disney has to still pay him his contract for oh, Guardians yeah. Three. Oh, like. Yeah. Let's find other targets to be sympathy. These guys can handle themselves. They're like, like, uh, like for example, um, uh, who's the the who's the uh, Nerdist podcast? Chris uh, Hardwick. Hardwick, yeah. He kind of had like the opposite, where like I felt like he got railroaded by a woman. Um, and this is from what I remember, and there was an investigation. It turned out he was vindicated. D- yes, mm. because Chris Hardwick is super rich. If there's even a shred to his size of his case or doubt, his lawyers will find it and he'll be fine. Like, these guys are fine. That's my position. Right. These guys are fine. They can only... That's like, this isn't career murder. This is career suicide because only they can bring themselves down. Yeah. All yeah, right. That's fair. So that's uh, that's worse career suicide. Okay. Kevin Spacey. Uh, so we're not going to rank these just... Kevin Spacey. The I think top, Kevin Spacey it. wins. I think he might be the emeritus award because I don't think they'll <laughs> ever be... It's hard. To look... Pick. I think I didn't rape him, but if I did, would it be so? Wouldn't it make me even cooler? I don't think we'll ever see <laughs> Jesus. a Hollywood level production yeah. with lighting and sound and music and editing and a script. I don't think we'll ever see that again. So this might be the Kevin Spacey yeah. career suicide and a award. lifted character. Does he even have right. the, the copyright to do like, this? Could shit? Will like, Boehm on like yes, this copyright strike him. him? Like this is not your character to fuck with. A hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. I. Yeah. Bah. That's fucked up from every angle. Goodbye, right. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Good we, we hardly knew you and wish we didn't.